could be witches, some evil witches, which is ridiculous, because witches, they were persecuted, wicked, good, and love the earth, and women power, and I'll be over here. I've got a theory, it could be Barney's. I've got a theory. But if I'm just cute like everybody supposes, they got them hot relays and twitches, little noses, and what's with all the carrots? And one Mrs. Cricket song with Lunar Wisdom. And my intention is that this is going to be a short video. Hopefully it will be. I just want to comment or share my thoughts on a topic that's been going around. And I actually debated on whether I would ever address this topic. But since I watched a bunch of videos that are talking about this specific topic, I've felt moved or guided by spirit to at least just say a few words because apparently I can't get it out of my head. No matter how hard I try, it's just constantly in there and it's really annoying me. The fact that it's in there and the fact that the feelings I'm having in regards to after watching many of the videos. I haven't seen them all and this is not a video response. This is just my feelings on the topic. And the topic being Fluffy Bunny. Now, my understanding of what the word, the term, means is someone who is just starting out on their path. It doesn't denote an age, but someone new, a neophyte, a dedicant, a seeker, who is just studying Wicca or a Wiccan-inspired path. And they are focused on the coolness of it. Uh, they are sort of caught up in perhaps one author's perspective of what Wicca is about and that one book or one author is, you know, the Bible to them. And they generally are focused on the um, perhaps the tools and spells and uh, the lighter side of things, and um, it's a term that more seasoned people or people who feel they are seasoned give to the the lighter, the um, that's what I I understand the term as. And as it annoys me, as far as I can recollect, I have never used the term Fluffy Bunny, and I have no intention of using the term Fluffy Bunny because I find it offensive. The term itself, Fluffy Bunnies are cute. Bunnies are cute. We used to own a bunny. They're cute and they're cuddly. But when one individual uses it in regards to another individual, the intention isn't to say the person is cute. The intention behind the phrase is to degrade and humiliate the individual. At least that's my understanding. And if it's not degrading or humiliating, then it's a put down. And my thought and my feeling is how dare you call anyone a fluffy bunny? Can you honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say that you are the perfect role model of the perfect Wiccan or witch or whatever you are? Now I will agree that we are all perfect in who we are for ourselves. But that doesn't mean we have the right to go around and say, oh, her, Judy, she's a fluffy bunny. Oh, her, Jessica, yeah, she's a fluffy bunny. Oh, that guy over there, yeah, John, he's a fluffy bunny. I would, I personally would never do that to someone. And I really am annoyed 
and a little upset by others who feel that they can pass judgment. Now, we, we all, we all can pass judgment. It's true. We all can pass judgment on whoever and whatever we'd like. But I also believe that we are responsible for the consequences of our words and our actions and our thoughts. A good witch, not light or dark, but a, a ethical witch understands that, whether you're Wiccan or not. You know and you understand that there are consequences and circumstances that happen once you say something, once you do something, once you think something. And to sit on in your little place and pass that judgment out, my feeling is, you know, you're going to have judgment passed on yourself. Treat others as you want to be treated. That's how I feel. You know, because we can look at someone's circumstances and you can look at Mary and you can look at Jessica and you can look at John and you can think that their practice or who they are, they're fluffy. They're a fluffy bunny, but you really don't know their whole story. You're only seeing what they want you to see. They're not sharing their, their complete self with you. You don't know if they're practicing a more balanced practice behind closed doors. Maybe they don't want to share it with you. Maybe it's none of your damn business what they do. And how dare you pass that kind of judgment on other people? Is that from love? Really? When you're calling people fluffy bunnies, is that really coming from a place of love? Or is that really coming from a place of fear? What are you afraid of? Why do you feel you have to pass judgment on other people? It says nothing about you. What other people do, it says nothing about who you are and what you do and what your spiritual practice is about. So stop, feel, stop feeling threatened by other people. Focus on yourself. Focus on your own relationship with deity or your own relationship with your own craft. Stop worrying about what others are doing or are not doing. Because if you're ethical and you're true and you focus on your own true, authentic self, then you will stand out. You will be an example. You will be doing what you need to do. Stop worrying about other people. Stop slinging names around. It's not from love. It's not. It just bothers me, you know? So, you will never hear me use the term fluffy bunny. You do what's right and true for you. And if it's lighter than mine, so be it. If it's darker than my practice, so be it. For me, I look for balance. And if other people want to look at my channel or look at my videos or look at my Facebook or, or look at my rituals or look at my craft that I share with you and call it fluffy and call me a fluffy bunny, I don't care. I don't give a shit. You call me what you want to. Call me a bitch. Call me Fluffy Bunny. Call me a Wicked Witch. Call me a Wannabe Wiccan. Call me a Wannabe Witch. Call me a White Lighter. Call me a Dark Lighter. Call me whatever you want to call me. Call me it. I know who I am. I know what I am. And I'm okay with who I am. Believe it or not, people have even called me a Satanist. And I find that highly amusing. Anyway, I love you all. It feels better to get this out there. Have a wonderful day. I love you. What's in this place?